This is the day they arrived. Contact. The objects measure at least... I'm Colonel G.T. Webber from Army Intelligence. Pack your bags. You're at the top of everyone's list when it comes to translations. Priority one. What do they want? Where are they from? You'll be reporting to me, but you'll be working with him when you're in the show. And she's called upon uh, by the United States government to help decipher an alien language as there have been 12 ships that have arrived on the planet. And uh, she ends up being part of a team that goes in to try to figure out what they're telling us and why they're here. And, you know, of course, everybody, it puts the world on edge. We're not sure why, that, why they're there, but they seem to be desperately trying to communicate something to us. That's what they call the UFO. Who's being carted off in the medevac? Not everyone is wired for what you're about to do. So what do they look like? You'll see soon enough. Every 18 hours, a door opens up. And how things can be miscommunicated, especially just in the English language, let alone just language in general. And um, you can see why things are miscommunicated all the time. And you really don't want to mess up with an alien force that looks like they could pretty much wipe us out if they wanted to. What happens now? They arrive. They need to see me. Dr. Bank? Are you insane? Now that's a proper introduction. He's, he's putting together a team. To, to be able to spark through the communication. One, one linguist to be able to break through the language barrier and, and a physicist, a uh, mathematician, to be able to see if you can, we communicate through numbers and through whatever things that they may offer us so that I have the proper tools to understand them. And we need to make sure that they understand the difference between a weapon and a tool. Language is messy and sometimes one can be both. We wanted to create a, a sci-fi movie that, uh, like, when you're a kid in a school bus on a rainy day going to school and you dream looking at the clouds, you know, and it's rainy and that kind of atmosphere. And, and uh, going away from the scope of the huge movies, you know, going away from the flares, from the spec. We were trying to make something very, very, very about something delicate uh, in the light. Uh, and uh, Bradford, basically, he brought a lot of humanity and beauty to the movie. This is just a way to force us to work together for once. It's more complicated than that. How is it more complicated? Russia just executed one of their own to keep their secret. We've got 21 hours before they start global war. So how do we clarify their intentions? I go back in. Why does this feel worse? <laughs>